Hey guys, Chris from Provo Beast Audio Installation, and in today's video, we're replacing the factory six and a half inch speaker on this 2022 Ford F-150. Now, in this install, we're going to show you how to remove the door panel and factory speaker. We'll head to the bench to show you the new speaker we're installing, including the speaker bracket and a harness adapter. Then we'll come back here to get everything reinstalled. Let's get started. to note not only do we have two speakers but we also have the B&O factory audio sound system this is the amplified audio one note here is even though it has a factory amplifier there's still four ohm speakers which allows you to install just basically any aftermarket speaker in the factory location whether you have the amplifier or not Additionally here, this is not the B&O Unleashed version. If you have the Unleashed version, those are a little bit different and we can link that information and put those notes in the description for you. Finally here, this applies both to the Lightning as well as the gas version of the F-150. The audio sound system is just the same. All right, so to get access to the screws holding this in, you're gonna have two seven millimeters underneath. There's one behind your little reflector here in the door panel as well. And then behind this panel, there's gonna be two longer seven millimeter screws that have to be removed. Once all those are out of the way, the rest of the panel is just simply held in with clips. Now there's a little reflector here on the side of the door here. Now you can use a flathead screwdriver or a pick tool. You just don't wanna mar up your plastic. There's a clip at the top and the bottom. We're gonna go ahead and use a pick tool here just to get right inside. And what we're doing is trying to pop open Seven millimeter screw, just like that. Now with this panel here, there's gonna be two clips at the top. So you wanna start at the top here, to try to get behind it. So you have your two clips here. Once those are removed, Go ahead and remove the two screws behind it. All right, so the rest of the panel is just simply held on with clips. I have a nicer panel popper tool, but you can use the vinyl ones. Uh, we just need to pop the panel free from the door. Now we start from the inside. It's unsnapping the panel. Once that's free, you wanna go ahead and lift up. So here we'll go ahead and pull down and disconnect your, your handle door release. There's a little part here where basically on the back, you pull down and that's gonna release it from the back of the door panel. All your door harnesses have tabs. Press in the tab and the harness will come free. Everything's keyed differently, so they only go in one location. Like so. Remove the factory six and a half inch coaxial, all seven millimeter screws. Then pull out your speaker. Disconnect your harness. Okay, with our speaker now removed, what we can do is now head over to the bench to show you the parts that we're gonna need for our install. All right, so here at the bench, the parts that we're using for the install, first and foremost, are the speakers that we've chosen to go with. These are the Alpine Type R 6.5 inch coaxial speakers, the Gen 2 Type R's of this generation. And essentially these are a huge upgrade over the factory speaker. These ones accommodate a really nice tweeter there, which obviously makes them coaxial speakers. And they can handle up to 100 watts RMS of power. We're only running this off the factory amp or factory radio. Um, but down the road, these are a perfect setup for more uh, amplification. Now to accommodate this new speaker in the factory location, we do need a few adapter parts. The speaker harness adapter and bracket are by Metra. The bracket itself is the Metra 82-5605. Accommodates both the five and a quarter and six inch or six and a half and six and three quarter inch based on the bracket itself. Um, we're gonna break off the inner tabs to allow our speaker to sit flush in there. And speaker harness wise, to allow this to be a plug and play application, we need the Metra 72-5602. And essentially here, this end will plug into the factory harness. This end will plug into our new speaker. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to break off these interior tabs here. We're going to seat our new speaker there using the hardware supplied by our speaker. And then we'll get this mounted in the door. So looking at our uh, factory speaker, you can see there's a little bump here, but these are bigger bumps. You want to align your speaker so it can actually match that. Now our harness, the factory harness is on the outside of the bracket, not on the inside. There's no hole here and we don't want to pinch our aftermarket wiring harness adapter. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a little, um, about a quarter inch hole through there to allow our harness adapter to fit through the bracket so nothing gets pinched and everything is installed correctly. Okay, so we went ahead and got our speaker mounted in the bracket here using the supplied hardware from Alpine. Now, the holes for the bracket are a little bit bigger, so there's not much to bite into for the speaker. You can use a thicker screw, or we use the ends here provided by our speaker. And then we went ahead and also put that little hole there, ran our harness through, and then connected it to the terminal on our speaker, just like factory. We loomed it with some high temperature Tessa tape just to give it a little bit more protection in the door and also help prevent any chafing here on the bracket. So with that now all assembled here, at this point of time, what we're gonna do is go ahead and get this reinstalled back in the door. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and reassemble our six and a half inch speaker in the factory location in the same orientation as the factory one came on out. All right, so with the speaker now in place, it's always a good idea to double check and make sure everything is working properly before you reassemble the door panel. Once you confirm it is, go ahead and install the panel just in reverse order. All right, that is about it for this install. These speakers sound awesome. And if you want to uh, pick these up or any of the parts that we used in our video here today, we'll link those all in the description. If you want to see how we did the front door speakers, uh, including the door mid base and the tweeter in the dash, we'll link that video also in the description, which walks you through step by step on basically how to do the same process to replace those speakers with new aftermarket ones. That's about it for this video. If you like what you saw, be sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. We post great content on the channel all the time and we will see you in the next video.